Coming up today on The Link, Chef Vera and the students from West Georgia Tech Culinary Arts Department are going to talk to us today about their recent study abroad in China. Gina Snyder from the Noonan Cultural Arts Commission and the dog named Bruno. Stay with us. Welcome to The Link, I'm Mark Whitlock. And I'm Lana Mobley, thanks for tuning in. Mark, you've got some exciting interviews today. Great interview coming up with uh, Jatavia Bird, Samantha Heydrich, and Chef Trisha Vera. They recently did a study abroad in China. Uh, Lana, they've got some surprising insights to bring back from their study with two different technical schools in China, one in Beijing and one in Shanghai. What an experience for everyone who went. And let me tell you, I have had their their meals before and they rock. <laughs> they, they do rock. This is a great group and here's a group that's looking out into the future. Mm -hmm. What are things going to be and what do we need to do in a world-class community and Coweta is. Mm -hmm. What do we need to do to keep up in the culinary arts? Unbelievable experience for them yeah. so I look forward to hearing that and yeah. I'm going to be talking with Gina Snyder from the Noonan Cultural Arts Commission and she's going to be talking about the upcoming um, corral trip yeah in Scotland, I believe, and wow. oh, it's going to be a combination of middle school, high school, and Masterworks Chorale, and it's going to be exciting to hear about that. This is an international show. It is an international <laughs> show, except we have a beautiful dog named Bruno who was dropped off by his owners, and he's nine years old, so he needs to be adopted. So we've there got some goes. fun parts, too, today. So. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. Great. Stay with us. So uh, we're, we're looking forward to the show, so don't turn your channel. We'll be right back. Looking for fast? This European sports car hits 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Price? 1.7 million. Nice. Or the F-22 Raptor. Top speed Mach 2. Cost? 142 million. Sweet. Then there's New Link High Speed Internet. With download speeds up to 30 megabits per second, it's perfect for downloading music, sharing pictures, even streaming video. Starting at $19.99 per month for 12 months. Awesome. New Link High Speed Internet. If you're looking for fast, look no further. Welcome back to The Link. We are delighted to welcome back to the set of The Link, Samantha Heydrich, Jatavier Bird, from West Georgia Tech's Culinary Arts Program here at CEC. These folks have been on a mission. They've been on a study abroad in China. It was a very fast trip. You don't go to China for a week to have fun. You go for a business purpose. So tell me, what did you do in China? What did you see? What did you visit? Who did you visit? We saw pretty much everything you could imagine to see in Shanghai and Beijing um, because, I mean, our days were just fully packed. Okay. Uh, we went to two vocational schools, one okay. in Beijing and okay. one in Shanghai. Okay. We learned uh, how to make okay. sweet and sour chicken okay. from one of the vocational schools. We went to a host family and learned how to make uh, traditional dumplings so a staple in in the diet definitely yeah. I don't think there was a meal that we ate that didn't have dumplings as a part of it okay okay all right Jatavia you um, I mean you're just out of high school and you're already taking business trips to China that's that's pretty amazing <laughs> it is. that's pretty amazing what insights did you get about the way China teaches culinary arts versus the way we teach it here in America? Well, I guess uh, one place, the second vocational school we went to there, the way it looked or it was designed, it looked like a ship actually, the way the windows and everything were shaped. So I would have to say even from the building structure, they're putting them in a setting to where it looks like a job or where they'll be working. Okay, so the setting that they create is is like a, a real hospitality industry setting, like a cruise yep. ship. Yep. Everything in that one school is focused on getting a job on a cruise ship. Okay. Um, so once they leave there, they can get a job on basically any cruise ship internationally. Um, it was the coolest thing. We saw a girl, they were having a competition, we saw a girl make a bed from just a plain mattress in three minutes. Wow. Like fully make the bed in three minutes. 
but that's part of the curriculum. Mm -hmm. To be part of the hospitality industry, you got to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. What did you learn about um, the, the, the way that they're teaching class there that might be different than the way Chef Vera has taught you guys? Um, different focus on use of uh, instruments, on safety. What, what did you see there that was different? They don't have a lot of uh, focus on what we consider serve safe food safety as far as temperatures and how long food can be out and um, there was only one place that we went to that had uh, like a, a plaque that said that they were safe food whatever um, and right. that is a huge difference because everywhere in America that serves food has to have some sort of safety plan in place. Okay so tell, tell me what that led you to think about. He, Heavy emphasis here, <laughs> not so much emphasis there. What do you think about that? Um, you're a little more wary about what you eat. Okay. Um, okay. And how it's prepared. I mean, that's even even in America. I mean, that's something that we as culinarians think about um, is how where the food comes from and how it's prepared and how it's kept before it gets to us. Um, so going to China and, and seeing, we went to one place. Um, that we just walked up and they folded out like what we would consider like three or four um, TV trays yeah. and just put some stools out there on the sidewalk and they served us food. We ate it like <laughs> I don't think I would really feel comfortable doing that in America. Yeah. Um, I wasn't all that comfortable with doing it in China, but it's China, so. Okay, okay. All right, Jatavia, you started culinary arts program while you were in high school. Do they start students at, in high school ages in, in their programs? I'm not sure what ages particularly, but the first vocational school we went to, uh, I think there was a student, I think he had to be at least 14. He was pretty young. 14? Mm -hmm. I think he made a flower out of a radish. Okay. So they have to start pretty young and to be at that level you have to have a good amount of experience. Okay, so if they start at 14, then does the curriculum go all through the high school years? And is it a, a college level kind of curriculum? It's well, definitely a college level curriculum. Um, they go through three or four years of um, the curriculum and the way they do it when they leave they can get a job anywhere because that's the kind of, they have such a wide base of knowledge. I mean, they, they study Chinese culture and, and that type of cooking, but they, they study westernized cooking as well. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Guys, we're about to wrap up this segment. Um, one last question of curiosity, did their students speak English? Not oh. so much at the first school that we went to, the the culinary school, but yeah. the school that was based on a cruise ship, yeah. um, they all spoke English. Okay. And that was one of the things that they had to do was kind of interact with all of us and okay. work on their English. They okay. all had English names. And oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Samantha Heydrich, Jatavia Bird, thank you. Congratulations on your trip. Thank Welcome you. back home. Thank you. You stay tuned on the link. We're going to have another segment about this study abroad in China with Chef Tricia Vera. We appreciate you guys being here. Stay tuned. The link will be right back. shopping season, you may want to occasionally check your credit and debit card account to ensure there are no unauthorized transactions on your account. If you find unauthorized transactions, notify your bank and local law enforcement agency immediately. Enjoy your holiday shopping, but be aware of your surroundings. Welcome back to The Link. In our first segment with West Georgia Technical College Culinary Arts, we talked with Samantha Heydrich, Jatavia Bird, about a recent study abroad in China. We welcome back to The Link uh, Chef Tricia Vera, who chairs 
the culinary arts program for West Georgia Tech in the School of Business and Public Services. Yes, sir, we do. Welcome home. Thank you. you Glad a, to be home. You had a great trip. We got to follow up on some of the insights that Jatavier and Samantha shared with us. Um, first thing I want to ask you, talk with us. They, they mentioned, I, I know you're focused on Serve Safe and, and that culinary arts programs in America are focused on mm -hmm. that. And, restaurants and our food service industry is focused on that and Samantha and Jatavier didn't see as much of that in the program in China. Give us some insight. What'd you see? Well, um, with the Surf Safe, the Surf Safe is just promoting the fact that your food, you know, it comes from a, a purveyor that has guaranteed that it's going to be safe as right. when they're receiving products. In China, it's not like that. Um, Samantha said that one of the um, hotels that we ate at the restaurant did have a serve safe score. It was one of the only ones we saw there. Wow. Right now, China is having a movement into more westernized of becoming their food more safe to eat for everyone because it's an international thing. Okay. So the progression for them is now beginning in the last couple of years. That way, they can guarantee that anyone that eats there is having the food that's safe just because they have a really, they have a lot of pollution there. Okay. So um, they want to clean everything up and it also helps with their tourism more. Okay. So it's part of the progression of them becoming the second largest economy in the world. They're maybe becoming a little more westernized. Yes, they are. We, uh, the hotels we stayed at were all westernized. Okay. Um, a lot of the places that we visited had some things that were western, where um, a lot of the Chinese people that we encountered, when, wherever we were in market or the tourist guides that we went to, all spoke somewhat of an English. Okay. Broken English, but still in English. Okay. Um, one of the vocational schools we went to, the one that was the hospitality. hospitality and cruise ship, yeah, yeah. all the students spoke English. Was they, that in Shanghai? It was in Shanghai. Okay, okay. They even had an instructor that was from Australia, okay. was teaching English. Okay. Um, Samantha and I provided them with a cookbook on Georgia, just staples from Georgia on a flash drive, and the teacher was going to give them a, an assignment to convert everything to Chinese. So they were going to take our cookbook, make it into Chinese, so that way they would have it as a class assignment for working on their English. Yeah, okay, very cool, very cool. Chef, uh, insights that you brought back that might be relevant for your culinary arts program across West Georgia Tech. Um, one of the things I focus, and it's not just my program, it's yeah. almost all the vocational ones here. Okay. The students uh, in China start their vocational school at the age of 14. 14. And it runs to their 18, 19 years this old. Is, this is similar to a college type yes, setting? Yes, it's college all college. Type curriculum? It's, their curriculum, um, depending what school it is, is confidential because of the hierarchy and how, how disciplined they must be. For example, in culinary, um, I was speaking to the instructor and it could take one student two years to get out of level one. Okay. It just because in China, if you don't master the skill, you can't move on. You so, don't have so it's competency based. Yes. It's not this coverage of content and then you're done. It's you got to get to a certain level of competency before Correct. you can move on. And then um, you don't have the option of dropping out. You don't have the option of not coming to class. It is strictly based because um, in China, they're very family oriented. The, right. the parents instill the future of their kids for them. Yeah. And then with the intent that eventually they're going to take care of them because all the retired um, population in China still live with their children. Their mm -hmm. children take care of them. They don't go away. They don't put them in a home. They, there's an investment in them so that they can take care of them and definitely on a skill level, um, it's an international skill level mm -hmm. so that these students can compete on an international level, not just our U.S. standard. Because theirs, in my opinion, what I saw is a lot higher than our expectation here. What does that tell us about what we've got to do to remain competitive? we got to work harder. we got to raise our standards and um, don't accept anything but the best. That way, our our Western students can strive and work internationally. Okay, and it's going to be international competition. Correct. Uh, I mean, we're becoming more international right here in Coweta County. Yes, yes. 
I mean, one of the basic things, um, all the students, I had three culinary students go at the culinary school, um, they were having them learn how to do a certain garnish. Um, 14 year old boy, like Jatavier said, carved a rose out of a radish in less than seven minutes. Wow. So definitely it's a different standard. Um, the students there learn Chinese cooking as well as Western cooking. Here we touch, we touch kind of every subject, but it's not the same because they have 30 instructors. We have two or three instructors here. Um, students all don't, they're not focused on all the other classes, it's just that vocational class. They have to master that vocational class. Okay, Chef, great insights for us. Um, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for leading, helping to lead the study abroad in China for West Georgia Technical College. Terrific insights for our viewers. Thanks to Chef Trisha Vera, to Samantha Heydrich, to Jatavier Bird. Welcome home to them. Thanks for watching this segment of The Link about an incredible study abroad in China. You stay tuned. The Link will be right back. In 1948, cable television originated as a community antenna erected high on a mountaintop for better TV reception. By 1962, the number of cable television companies in America grew to over 800. Ten years later, the first pay TV network was launched, and the rest is history. Cable's steady growth and innovation changed the way we watch TV forever. Change the way you watch TV forever with digital cable TV from New Link and get tons of HD channels and access to free video on demand. Call today. Looking for fast? This European sports car hits 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Price? 1.7 million. Nice! Or the F-22 Raptor. Top speed Mach 2. Cost? 142 million. Sweet! Then there's New Link High Speed Internet. With download speeds up to 30 megabits per second, it's perfect for downloading music, sharing pictures, even streaming video. Starting at $19.99 per month for 12 months. Awesome! New Link High Speed Internet. If you're looking for fast, look no further. Welcome back to The Link. I am pleased to announce that I have Gina Snyder with me today. She's the Public Information Officer for the City of Noonan, and we're going to talk about the Noonan Cultural Arts Commission and all the activities coming up. Gina, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. So we're going to first talk about the Wadsworth um, concert that's coming up this Saturday night. So tell me about it. Well, it's the Wadsworth & Friends concert, and the, it's the legacy continues this mm -hmm. year. Courtney Budd, um, local hometown girl, she's going to be headlining it. Oh, and that's awesome. And now Charles Wadsworth, who has been doing it for years and years, retired. Yes, he retired last year, mm -hmm. but he'll be back. He'll be in the um, audience this year. And oh, so fun. Courtney has his blessing, and, um, you know, she's always been a student of his. Yes. So um, we are bringing world-renowned musicians um, here, right here in Noonan. So mm -hmm. it's something you would see in the Fox or New York, right? You know, right. so and the musicians and artists that she's bringing, um, each of them, there are five of them that will right. be accompanying her, and all of them, at one point or other, have been here to perform with Charles, right? They have, and they, most of these artists, want to come back. They well, say, oh, well, right. we want to go back to Noonan. Well, yeah. the acoustics in the Wadsworth is just phenomenal, and I've heard that it's yeah. actually better and tops any other venue that they, a lot of the artists have. You know, performed in over the country. It really does. Yeah, so it's that's an great. awesome venue for that. So it's the 26th. Tickets are twenty dollars. Yes, that so is they're neat. very affordable. Yes, and you can pick them up at Let the Meat Toffee at uh, Bank of North Georgia at Thomas Crossroads. Correct. Correct. Morgan's Jewelers at Ashley Park, and who am I forgetting? Um, the visitor center. Oh yes, down in the courthouse. Oh, at the courthouse, of, of yeah. course. Um, so that we look forward to everyone being there, and we hope everyone will come out and, and support Courtney and, and the Wadsworth and Friends. The legacy continues, right? Definitely. Now the next concert we're going to talk about is May third, and this is with the Masterworks Chorale, the Youth Ensemble. Let's talk a little bit about that. That that is actually because we are sister city with Air Scotland. That's correct. And the concert's May 4th. Oh, I'm sorry, May 4th. Okay. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about what they're going to be doing and what, what this concert's going to be about. Well, the commission um, helped choose, chose this group of kids mm -hmm. to go and represent 
um, over in Scotland because Air Scotland, the Ayrshire Fiddle mm -hmm. um, Youth Orchestra, has come over and we've hosted them many times. Right. And so they've been begging us to, um, you know, bring our kids over there, and mm -hmm. this is our chance. And the mayor um, has um, chosen with the Cultural Arts Commission this group of um, kids, and they're going to get to go over there for a few days to our sister city. And perform for them like they have for us. So that it's is going to really be so great nice. exchange. Um, and they'll be host culture. with hosting families like the young mm -hmm. children are here when our families of the community have hosted these kids, right? Exactly. They'll be staying with host families, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I'm, what an they're experience. Really excited. Yeah. Now, it's my understanding that a lot of these uh, young men and women auditioned and were selected for the, uh, to be a part of this, this group. And then they are also going to be able to wear the tartans that have been hand or woven on the loom by one of our Coweta County residents, right, that has that, that talent. Oh, my gosh. Correct. <laughs> I've seen those scarves, and they're beautiful. They're the special um, tartan print mm -hmm. that goes with the um, Scottish that we're here in. Mm -hmm. so. Wow. Now, the tickets for that on May 4th, they'll be at the Wadsworth, and it's actually going to be, if I understand it correctly, almost like a, um, a practice one for them. I mean, it'll yeah. be a full concert, but it'll give them an opportunity to perform in front of an audience just like they will be doing in Scotland, correct? That is exactly correct. And um, it's a fundraiser for their trip, mm -hmm. and the tickets are only $10. Oh, wow. So. We need to fill up the Wadsworth <laughs> that day, right? Yes. I mean, what an awesome opportunity for these, these kids to be able to go and they may never get a chance to go to Scotland again, you know? Yeah, they're middle school age and yeah. high school, so. I can't imagine. I know they're excited. Well, mm -hmm. and then, okay, so we've got that, and then also this coming week, all right, we're in the middle of it, it's Taste of Noonan. Yes. I can't believe it's that time of year again. I know, it's so much fun. There's thousands of people that come downtown. It's a great event, and Main Street does an awesome job with that. And there are restaurants that people don't may, may not get a chance to try for whatever reason, mm -hmm. and then there are, like, Chef Vera and her students will be there. Yeah. And there, it's just so much fun. You know, I live close by, so I just walk down and have a blast, and people can be, bring their children and their dogs. And yeah, it's just, definitely family-friendly. Oh, There's absolutely. There's a kid's alley, you know, and... Um, Hasco and his team does a great job, and he mm -hmm. says it's totally full this year. So, Well, let's hope the weather yeah. is good for it all. I hope so. Well, thank you. You've given us a, a lot of nice things to talk about. Um, April 26th is Wadsworth and Friends. The Legacy Continues. May 4th is the Masterworks uh, Youth Ensemble. And then this, this week is the Taste of Noonan. Yep. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks for keeping us all in tune. What's going on? No problem. Thanks to Gina for being with us. Stay with us. We'll be right back for more on the link. In 1948, cable television originated as a community antenna erected high on a mountaintop for better TV reception. By 1962, the number of cable television companies in America grew to over 800. Ten years later, the first pay TV network was launched, and the rest is history. Cable's steady growth and innovation changed the way we watch TV forever. Change the way you watch TV forever with digital cable TV from New Link and get tons of HD channels and access to free video on demand. Call today. Looking for fast? This European sports car hits 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Price, 1.7 million. Nice. Or the F-22 Raptor, top speed Mach 2. Cost, 142 million. Sweet. Then there's New Link High Speed Internet. With download speeds up to 30 megabits per second, it's perfect for downloading music, sharing pictures, even streaming video. Starting at $19.99 per month for 12 months. Awesome. New Link High Speed Internet. If you're looking for fast, look no further. Do you know what's coming up in the community this week? Let's listen to Cynthia. She'll make sure we keep up with it all. Thank you, Lana. This is Cynthia Escobar with the Community Calendar. Let's come out and show our Cougar Spirit Saturday, April 26th at the 7th Annual Cruisin' for the Cat Show and Shine at Great South Harley-Davidson from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The funds raised will be used for the new uniforms for Noonan High School's marching band. The show is open for anyone in any vehicle. The day is meant to be lots of fun with a touch-a-truck type of event, face painting vendors, food, a DJ, bounce house, and much more. Admission is only $5 per person and includes one-door prize raffle tickets. Healthy Life Chiropractic is here with natural health orientation to inform us about some healthier habits. To reserve your spot, please call 770-252-3661. Healthy Life Chiropractic is located at Highway 34, Suite 1. 
Let's have a taste of all the delicious food Noonan has to offer at Main Street Noonan's most popular event, Spring Taste of Noonan. Thursday, April 24th from 5 to 8.30 p.m. in downtown Noonan. Food, fun, and fellowship are bound to make the night memorable. Restaurants and sponsors with their homemade goods will be set up to serve food and beverages throughout the evening. For more information, please visit MainStreetNoonan.com. Fun and creativity is meant to happen at Paint Night Host Out of the Blue Debut in downtown Noonan on Friday, April 25th from 7 to 9 p.m. The theme for the night is Woot! Cost is $25 in advance and $30 at the door. Call to reserve your spot today at 770-789-1160. Well, that's all for the community calendar. See you next time. Hey guys, Jeanette and Mindy with the Noonan Coweta Humane Society down here at Coweta County Animal Control showcasing this wonderful guy, Bruno, for Pet of the Week. He is a nine-year-old black lab retriever, or black retriever, lab, whatever you want to call him, but super, super boy. He's very sweet, he's house trained, and he is ready to go home. He's an A14, that's his kennel number down here at Animal Control. So back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for tuning in with us today. We enjoyed all of the information that was shared from West Georgia Tech students and Chef Vera. Great insights from their trip to China. Mm -hmm. And the upcoming trip to Scotland that Gina talked about. Yeah. So we've had an international show. We have an, we've had an international <laughs> show. we got a great show coming up next week. We do. Dr. Lynn Shinbeck, who teaches music here and is such a great contributor in the community, she's been nominated for one of the top teachers in the state of Georgia. Top 10 finalists mm -hmm. among 180 school districts, she 180 teachers of the year. She's one of the top 10. What a phenomenal lady. Yeah, she's amazing and uh, we'll enjoy talking with her. We will. And then I believe Dennis McIntyre from Noonan Utilities is going to be here to talk with us about the Communities and Schools group. And they're going to have an uh, upcoming fundraiser up for the Kentucky Derby. Wow. So you, I've got to get my hat out. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You know, that group has taken off. Mm -hmm. They have, they're, they're formed as part of a, a Leadership Coweta initiative out of the chamber. Mm -hmm. And they've pulled in now a big grant from AT&T, and they're on the way to raising funds that are really going to help our school system. They really are, and I believe the fund, uh, the, the uh, grant from AT&T was about $60,000? About $60,000, wow. absolutely. That's awesome. That is, that is. Uh, speaking of money. <laughs> speaking of money. Coweta's Dancing Stars. Last week, Coweta's Dancing Stars, which was also an offshoot of Leadership Coweta. That's right. They raised $81,000. $81,000. That's a lot. <laughs> That's amazing. I heard it was packed. It was packed. And you know, I've been a judge for three years. Yeah. That is so fun. I just yeah. love it. And this year, I think, was the best in terms of everyone who danced raised a lot of money, and they all did really well. It goes to a great cause. It goes to a wonderful cause. Yeah. So yeah. Our, community our community continues to give back. Yeah, you know, our community uh, has really stepped up its mm -hmm. philanthropic efforts. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing some great things here. We locally. are. We, we really are. are. Well, thank you so much for being a part of our show today. Stay with us next week. We have a lot more coming up. Have a great week. Bye. Goodbye.